Hey everybody, Dr. Ryan Ball from Prosper Health Clinics bringing you the second cause of low testosterone really quick here. And so the first one is pituitary gland. Second one kind of has to do with the pituitary gland and it's your cortisol levels. So cortisol, cortisol is your stress hormone. The more stress you are, the more you have it. It should be high in the morning and it should be low at night. And it's simple as that. Um, what cortisol really does is it gets your body to release sugar so that you have more energy. And why it's doing that is because if you're stressed out, it's assuming that you're either having to fight or you have to run away from something. And that's good, you do need those things. And if you are gonna fight or flight, you need some cortisol, you need some adrenaline um, as well. But the problem is when you are chronically stressed all the time from a job or a relationship or something like that. So maybe you don't even know it's stressing you out. Um, what ends up happening at that point is the cortisol goes up, the building blocks for the cortisol are the same as the building blocks for testosterone, and testosterone goes down. So we see cortisol go up for too long, testosterone will go down. Basically, the building blocks for testosterone are being used for the cortisol. So how do we fix this? Well, we can uh, use adaptogenic herbs, we can use stress techniques, best ways to get rid of the stress if we can. Um, but if we can, if you know somebody can't get out of a relationship or they can't quit their job for whatever reason, um, you know that's not for me to make that decision for you. Uh, we can just work with what we've got and use things like adaptogenic herbs or meditation or deep breathing or heart math or, or, or any of those things. Um, so if you are a low testosterone patient, you don't wanna just get androgel, you want to have things like the pituitary gland and the cortisol evaluated to make sure that those aren't a problem. And uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments section. I know this is kind of several different points, so you can kind of ask any question on testosterone in any of the different videos. Um, that's fine. Go ahead and uh, like and subscribe and share if you like it. And I'm Dr. Ryan Ball from Prosper Health Clinics.